Hey, what is up, my creamers? Let's go. Oh, we got that redeem. At everyone, please At do everybody. not announce to the server when you are going to go masturbate. This has been a reoccurring issue, and I'm not sure why some people have such underdeveloped social skills that they think a server full of mostly male strangers would need to know that. No one is going to be impressed and give you a high five, especially considering where that head has been. I don't want to add this to the rules, since it would be embarrassing for new users to see that we have a problem with this, but it is going to be enforced as a rule from now on. If it occurs, okay, but you will be this warned, is like a great and then additional occurrences will be dealt with at the discretion of mod staff. Thanks. Hey, welcome in. It is fucking Tuesday. Let's go. It's fucking Tuesday in it, uh, as Fish would say. Um, but yeah, hey, uh, it's it's been at least a good week, hasn't it? Since I've been here, something like that. I've missed you all. I hope you all are hanging in there, doing all right, living your lives as you do. Uh, it's nice to be back to some kind of semblance of norm normalcy. Uh, got my computer up and going again. Everything's been run smoothly. So that's been really nice. Um, but yeah. So today we'll be playing Glitched. Uh, at least we should be finishing it up today. If I do have time, I want to start Radio the Universe, which is another demo, but it looks fabulous. I am super excited for that, uh, as I usually am with indie RPG games because they just are my niche. Uh, so yeah, I am super stoked to finish that game and start a new one um i don't know when the actual game will come out so uh, i'll look into that one but i hope you got three-ish hours on your hands you know i might extend my stream i don't like to stream longer than two hours during the work week because i have to shower and you know get all cozy and ready for bed and all that shit later this year exciting that's all I hear is later this year, later this year. It's like, fucking when? <laughs> so, yeah, super, super stoked. Um, so I'm not going to fucking talk for too long. I really just want to get into it. Um, I haven't really had much going on. I've just been working away, you know, doing the daily grind. Kickstarter project, give it a bit. Yeah, no, absolutely. Hey, I'm down for however long they want to take. I understand masterpieces take a while. Um, I mean, you saw how long it took with Omari, so... And Omari turned out to be a fucking amazing uh, game. So I, I'll i give it as long as they want. But I'm very excited. Uh, and just letting everybody know, one more sub and we get that Community Day stream. So if you want to wait at all of Omari Club, right? Uh, so if you want to have a either Jackbox or Fortnite or fucking um, Fall Guys event or something like that, or even Among Us, I don't care. Uh, we just need one more sub, and then we can do that. So, that'd be fun. Something exciting for all of us to do. Or we can do Left 4 Dead like we have done in the past, which, again, I'm totally cool with. It's always fun having a Left 4 Dead stream. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully, everybody has been doing well. Um, it, it is super nice to catch up with y'all again, and I really hope that... Uh, everything's been going well with everybody. Okay, pre-roll ads are disabled for 21 minutes. Nice. I am doing well. Thank you so much, V. I hope you are doing good, too. I know. I, I can't wait, either. I can't, like, I, I don't know what I'm going to be playing. I'll probably make a big poll of it, so, and then we'll figure out a date and everything like that. Uh, but, yeah, I'm really excited to see what we'll be doing. I, I don't know. Maybe we'll do multiple stuff. We can do it like we can do like an all day thing where it's like we'll play one game like at one point and then we'll like, you know, if we get bored, we can do another one. So, I mean, who knows? We can do all sorts of shit. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Uh, start the game. I am fucking excited. Okay. 
baby up. I don't know why it does that, but it does. Uh, here we go. I like how the purple just matches with Bob. <laughs> it's lean colored. A tree with a... Oh, that is so cool, babe. I love that. <laughs> I should have done, like... I wonder if it would have let me, like, do that in the fucking title. That would have been awesome. Okay. Yeah, well, let's see what goes on. Like I said, I'm not opposed to extending it. Um... There we go. Depending on how long it's gonna take. Uh, if you may have noticed, I didn't put out a schedule because I wasn't entirely, oh, that's cute. You crushed the, <gasps> no! What the fuck? <laughs> no! <laughs> I fucking crushed the village! I already feel like a fucking monster. Oh no! <laughs> what a great way to fucking start. God damn. Oh my god. I wonder if that's gonna come and bite me in the ass later. Oh, I can't believe I crushed them beneath my feet. Oh god, I'm just stepping on all sorts of shit, aren't I? God damn. Fuck. Um, okay. You stepped on a tiny person there too. No, V! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I wonder if that would work. Oh my god. I can't fucking believe that. This looks awful. I'm gonna keep it. I can't fucking believe I stepped on the village. What the fuck? This has become a fetish game. No! Okay, I'm gonna ban you, babe. I'm gonna ban you from my stream. What a friendly portrait. Yo, bot bitch, when? <laughs> I don't really know anyone besides them. I know it's a bit strange. We all spend a lot of time together, though. Some days I sort of just keep to myself. I guess it depends on my mood. Oh, ban myself out. Get out of here. How fucking dare you bring your fetish shit into this? Uh, staying in bed, being alone, going out with friends. Uh, yeah, me? No. Stay in bed, being alone? Never. <laughs> Either way, hopefully I won't be away for too long. Hey, welcome in. Uh, hopefully things will be back to normal. We can bring Conrad home. Let's get going. Gundam awaits. I thought that said Gundam for a sec. I was like, what? My fet- <laughs> Giantesses are not my fetish. <laughs> Oh my god. You found a star chunk. The goodie was added to your currency tab of your inventory. Whatever, babe. Oh my fucking fetish shit. Get out of here. Oh my god, I had a dream tears of the kingdom. It had like ancient Gundams. Dude, that would be so sick, dude. If it had fucking mechs. Oh my god. I would I would lose my shit. I mean I guess there kinda was mechs in the but in like um uh, breath of the wild but you didn't actually get to use them did you okay whatever minna was there and was like talking about how to hack it of course minna was there you would fucking do that minna okay get your fetish shit out of here fuck i cannot believe i stepped on tiny people oh my god i feel awful so quiet in here. A sad stump sitting in the darkness, poor boy. Oh, I really wanted the divine beast to combine to make a mega zord. <laughs> that would have been really cool if they combined. Great work. Here's a gift for checking out all those trees. You obtained one frog coin. Oh, welcome in, Kami Jeno. It's so nice. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Hundo, let's go. Oh, let, uh, 
we get a shout out for Kami Geno, please? Thank you. It's been a while. I hope you're doing well. I've been seeing you stream so early in the morning. And I like, I keep missing your streams because sleep fucked up. I'm just like, I want to catch your streams, but I'm like going to work at the same time. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was genuinely disappointed I missed Mario. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Okay, I'm just gonna do some quick shout outs and I'm just gonna, uh... Hello, everybody. Hi, my name is Chris or Sai, whichever you prefer. Uh, I am a variety streamer and I stream a lot of indie RPG horror games. Um, I know Kami Geno from when I was streaming um, Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass. They helped me immensely through the game and it was an experience. An experience is all I can even begin to it's just uh, I describe it it was incredible but yeah let's get some shout outs going for all our friends here I wish I had a big titty GF to milk me yeah okay shout out my babe and shout out meow who's a wonderful mom <laughs> Great timing. About big milk. Okay. Milky's one. <laughs> that will be all for today. Is this Catherine? Hi, Andre. Welcome in. I I need to rebuy yeah. Catherine. I fucking so love that game. That game is so big good. Big Milky's even got Mario so, so in good. on it with the got milk commercials. Right. It's fucked up. <laughs> That's funny. Bitch. You were different too. Huh? It's so oh, weird. Like for some right. reason I gotta fucking fix my stupid OBS. Edge, and edge, I literally edge, cannot edge. hear any yeah. of the shout outs or alert boxes anymore. Just one day it decided uh BRB going down to, to down two bottles of water and hop into bed and watch. Absolutely, you get comfy, do whatever you like. I super appreciate you rating and thank you so much for bringing your followers over. I really appreciate it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, again, stop bringing your fetish shit into this, babe. All right. Maybe in another life, I could have been something great. For now, I guess giving out cryptocurrency for completing your arbitrary task will do. <laughs> Stay creamy, Chris. Hey, it's a cream. We've been calling uh, Chris Streams creams, so it's funny. Ah, I'm lactose intolerant. That doesn't stop you from fucking downing milk. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I like the pumpkin dude. Oh, he won't let me in. He won't let me into um the Halloween store. Damn. Pumpkin dude is spoops. When you stream, do you cream yourself? Oh my god. Like, I am not even gonna answer that. Get the fuck out. You wanna find out? <laughs> okay, where am I going? I have no fucking clue. The thing with this place is... There is an alternative way out for each essence. Oh, interesting. Fallen star glows gently. The light seems to be pulling you in. What will you do? Examine closer. It appears to be giving off a magical energy. What will you do? Break a chunk off, collect a small sample. Oh, we can make a wish. Bask in the starlight. Let's make a wish. You make a wish, don't tell anyone. Oh, that's it? Oh, that's it? Oh, no. <laughs> Even the normal route can vary. That's so sick. Oh, um. It's a very fuck it we ball replayable thing. That's really awesome. I love it when games are like very unique to the point where they can actually be replayable. Because I really hate it when it's like 
only a few things change, so it's like not even worth replaying sometimes. Um, I'm assuming that I press T for that little exclamation mark. Hey, sorry. I'm just uh, thinking about all this. It may it might be harder getting to Gundam than I thought. Just try not to get too stressed about it. You're handling it well. How are you doing it? Stop being a baby. Don't respond. It's just all your head. You gotta face it head on. Really? You just go straight into it, even though it could be real danger. Gotta do what you gotta do. I guess you're right. I gotta do it. So that's that. Thanks. Talking about it makes me feel a bit better. Oh man, I can't believe I found another one. This one has to be legit. Ahem, are you a great hero seeking adventure? What? Oh geez, no, not really. What? Come on, dude. I had the whole speech memorized and everything. Oh, sorry. Can I at least go through the checklist just to make sure? I've been here for like a year and I've only ever talked to like four humans. Uh, all right. What do I need to do? To answer my questions, I'm sure this is another... This is just another disappointment. Are you on a mission or a quest to find, save, or rescue a loved one or a dear friend? What? Why didn't you say so? Now we're talking. Do you have to travel to a strange and distant land? Mayor Eileen gave me this letter that I have to deliver to the president of Gundan. I've never been there before, but some there, someone there might be able to help me find my friend. The Wawa has been consumed. Wah, wah, wah. What? Holy quank. This can't be happening. Okay, okay. Rapid fire time. I gotta make sure this is real. Animal companion. Oh, we got Red Bow. The bed is firm and laden. Ooh, comfy time. Get comfy. Oh, yes. Catchphrase? Oh, jeez. I don't know. Oh, jeez. That'll work. An accidental hero who stumbled their way into the role? Well, I never wanted to leave town. I'm just a fry cook. I'm doing this for Conrad. This guy is legit Spongebob. Ayo, bird up. Yes, yes, yes. Cool outfit, colored hair, or something else to stand out in a crowd. Wait, there was another thing that could fulfill the cosmetic requirement. The backwards hat. Oh yeah. Oh God, oh God, oh God, it's happening. Wait, do you have deep existential fears? A weak sense of identity? Well, after I saw what took Conrad and what happened to him, I've been thinking about my life and how fragile and strange everything seems now. Yes, yes. This fucking bird is way too worked up over this. What's your name, hero? Uh, I'm Gus. Not the best hero name. <laughs> It'll do, though. I can't believe I found one. Mom and Dad are going to be so proud. All right, Gus. Where are we headed? I've got to get to Gundan. I've got to get this letter there. Can't tell if the game is taking the piss out of itself or what. I don't know either. This is just like one of the ja my Japanese animes. <laughs> I've got to do some reading on awkward heroes and the advice I'm supposed to give. It's post-ironic. You wouldn't get it. The advice? Come on, man. Strange forest, lost hero, the beginning of an adventure? A wise old owl is exactly what you need. I'm not exactly wise or old. I'm like 20 or whatever. Maybe that's why they put me out here, so I wouldn't find anyone worthwhile. Whatever, I'm your owl mentor now. Here is my first piece of advice. Uh, never, um, always say please and thank you. Next time I'll have better advice. I'll see you soon, Gus. Damn. What a weird guy. <laughs> Game saved. Reach out to touch the metal wall, but you freak out a bit. Stop yourself. Why? I want to touch it. I want to touch it. Uh, oh, nice. Okay. I don't think I can go this way. Maybe? No. Well, that was fun. Uh, get out, I guess. Like, so weird. Is there any-
anything else I'm missing, maybe? This feels like some kind of weird... Uh, so half the walls here aren't walls. Huh. What, what are they, then? The woody clearing. Oh, okay. A group away. A group of trees blocks your way. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, oh, hey, this is different here. Okay, the metal doors are locked. But I don't think I can get through either way. Uh, okay. There's no reward. Oh, thank you so much. I absolutely would love that. Thank you for the bot offer. <laughs> Go to doggy hype. Perfect. Damn, I can't believe it. I missed my chance to become famous. <laughs> Wanted that offer for myself? Okay. Oh, fuck! Look at that! Shit, you found a venerable battery. The goodie was added to the knickknack tab of your mud. The fuck is venerable? What does that mean? Let's go! Okay, okay, I'm sorry. That was too much. <laughs> Cream. Oh my god, is that a Vicky? Welcome to the cream. If you want to stop reading them, thanks. This is your fault. That's so cool. There's like hidden like pathways. Can I get a shout out for Vicky? I can't wait for your stream. This is one victory. I love that. Of course. Brazil. I hope you're doing well. I am getting so lost because I'm so bad. The clip. Yeah, there we go. Whew. I made it. I made it. Okay, which way do I go now? Oh shit, what's this? Welcome to Dennis's Den of Deals. Kick okay. it. My massive debt is tearing my family apart, so I'm out here selling items. Chris getting lost. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that is such a fucking mood, Dennis, though. Please buy this stuff. I only accept Star Trek's as payment. Okay. Um, adventure arrow. Big mud case. Cost is only one. Okay. I heard my massive dad. <laughs> massive debt. God damn. Abandoned tree key. Small cat hair is belonging to the last seminar. Is still wrapped around it. Blue star mud background. Okay. Well, I have like a bunch of star chunks. So I should be able to buy all this. Okay. Bug mud. I read that as big for whatever reason. Okay. None of us can read today. Apparently not. Wow, that's a lot of star chunks for all that crap. <laughs> Time for a red venerable as venerable. I still don't even know what venerable means. Time for me to fix my marriage and give my children the life they deserve. And in here I come. I'm headed there now. Listen, I have a bad back. I can't do well traveling alone. You want to escort me over to Gundan? All right, you can come with me. Out of all my customers, you sure are one of them. I'm so glad I am a customer. Can you carry me on your back? No, just kidding, man. Let's get going then. 
Dennis joins the crew, at least for now. Oh, we got a new crewmate. Let's go. We are fucking popping off. The group of trees blocks your way. Venerable means, basically means like, a, 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 uh, accorded a great deal of respect. Someone you respect. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Perfect. Thank you for y'all's help. I appreciate ya. Oh, sorry. I didn't catch her name. It's Gus. Gus. Cool. Pick it. I'll just walk behind you. This Viva already has a walking in line thing down, so hey, it's cool with me. You know, I didn't get a say or whatever, but it's fine. Like I said, that's cool with me, but like maybe I want to walk in front. Maybe when someone teams up, next time you should like, you know, go over the rules and stuff. You know what? Never mind. It's not a big deal. Uh, all right. Sorry. Nah, it's fine. I'm cool. I'm a cool bug. A cool bug at the back of the line. Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay, dude. No light shines from the star. It fills you with a sense of dread. Damn. So what's in the big city for you? Going to look for a new job to buy you some better looking clothes? What's wrong with my... Got an itch to leave your old life behind and start fresh? No, my friend. Running away from your problems like student debt or something? Yes, to all of the above. I'm going to Gundam because some strange magic thing attacked my town and messed up my friend and I need help finding him. That's why I'm going to Gundan. Oh, cool. Cool. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> wow. The husk of a star, when it broke, the magic seeped into the soil of the forest and disappeared. Oh, there's a treasure chest. What the fuck? I can't get it. Um, what if I go around? Is there anything in here that says little hole? The group of trees blocked away. Okay. Oh, like you can see eyes coming out of that. <laughs> We're going on a journey together. People to kill the people that own our student debt. Obligatory in Minecraft added here. <laughs> right? This guy wants to fucking talk a whole goddamn lot. Okay, maybe I, oh here we go found it open the chest let's open it you open the chest there is no inside did you really think someone would just leave a chest filled with treasure in the middle of the forest better luck next time okay fucking assholes i was so excited for that too fucks you found a star chunk the goodie was added to the currency tab of your mud um Okay, so I want to go back and talk to more of those bug people before I go over to the cats. Oh, did you see that? I wonder if it was just like a little buggy. Oh, I'm sorry. Is the music kind of low? I just realized the music seems a little low. Is the volume okay? Or should I raise it up a little bit? Raise it up just a tad. All right. Yo, Dennis, who's the human guy? This is my buddy, Gus. We're going to Gundan. Back to see the family, huh? That's good. It works out? Okay. All seems fine to me. Just be careful if you're going ahead. It sounds so cute. I like their eyes. They look adorable. Do you want something? You talk. I can't wait until we have enough bits to dip from this joint. Jo, jo mama. Oh shit, watch out. I am very funny and original. You absolutely are. Man, it's pretty dark. We should be careful. Oh, jeez. Hey, don't freak out or anything. There's a big star bug that lives around here. What? Yeah, he's huge. He almost ate one of the guys last week. One of the guys? Hey, even a selfless and a selfish merchant like me has friends. But yeah, the giant bug totally almost ate my friend, Shemp. So let's not get eaten, yeah? Yeah, yeah okay. Oh, 
see. Whoa. Hey, how curious. So, Joe, many liberals does it take to change it to, to log by a bulb? None. They're. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. I'm just gonna put my game over the fucking top of this thing. <laughs> it's some kind of monster. A monster. A monster? I am a guardian of this place, protecting the magic of this forest. It's almost it's the most harmonious harmonious thing a bug. And I'm not just a monster, I have a name, you know. The creatures of this forest dare not speak it. Bugs and caddies alike, for I am the lurker in the dark, the guardian of the Stygian? Stygian? Stars? I am Steve. Oh my god. Hi, Steve. You dare tras trespass into my domain? I am darkness. I am destruction. I am death. I am pretty upset. I am Steve. This guy looks pretty big. Think we can take him, Chris? Uh, stand your ground. Force Steve to move. <sighs> You think I'm going to just let you go? You're not going anywhere. Look at me. I'm like a giant monster. He cannot escape my grasp. Oh, uh, force Steve to move. Try to run away. If we win this battle, you're gonna, you're gonna out of our way. Testing your luck, huh? Fine. If I win, you'll stay away from this place forever. Let's go. Steve looms over you, ready for battle. All right. 55 HP, let's see. Oh shit, I gotta take out his fucking arms too. God damn. I do not remember uh, how to fucking fight, so <laughs> this is gonna be a fun refresher. <laughs> you can talk your way out of this fight entirely with har a harmony choice. Yeah, but that sounds so boring. I just wanna fight shit, okay? <laughs> Plus, the music sounds badass. Uh, unleash the crazy power within you or whatever. Deal five plus one damage to a target. This skill hits two times. All right, let's uh, start off with this. Burn it up, baby. Let's fucking go. The person seems like you'd be able to avoid this conflict with as long as you stand your ground and be firm, but reasonable. Or, you're respectful but not willing to just take insults. Or I could just burn the bug up. Um, let's see. Not enough energy. Or you could just punch them in the face. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, why does Dennis carry this around? Stagger your phone, break their guard. Ooh, nice. Uh, punch him, good. Bug poison, one a foe. Oh, let's go. Good thing I bought this. <laughs> oh, and he's poisoned. That's a fat health bar. Well, if I die, I can just go back and I can talk it out.
Um, okay. Down to zero. Poison him? Yeah! He's poison and he's burnt. Okay, oh, they're both stunned, so I can only use Bebo. I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, that'll be enough for his right arm. And we still got one more. I don't think I can use it, so... He's almost dead, though. We almost got him. Um. Does. I think cleanse. Does that. Get rid of poison? I don't know. Places an allies attack by three and energizes them. Oh, that's nice. Uh. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Then we got one more here. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> you have defeated me. I'll return to the deep wood, but if we ever meet again, I shall remember this day. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm ready for ya. Looks like we scared off that monster. I never really was much of a fighter. I guess with you helping me, I'm actually pretty good at battling. Just keep listening to you and we got we'll get to gunning in no time. You're actually kind of cracked. <laughs> kind of? <laughs> Let's get out of this place. Look, I think I see some light over there. That must be an exit. Let's go. Game saved. All right. Uh, we can either leave or we can go check out the cats. I want to go check out the cats. I don't know how to take that V. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I'm gonna take it as, I'm gonna take it as both. <laughs> I can see the X. Oh, okay. We can't go to the cats. No, it won't let me. God damn it! I wanted to go see the cats. Oh, what's this? It's purple. Will every star one day fall out of the sky? The light is beautiful, but the thought scares you. Pressing your head against the star, you feel empty for a moment. Dark light from the star is almost blinding. Standing near it gives you a strange feeling. The shaded radiance of the starlight has spread through the forest. Game saved. Ooh, look at that. It's shrouded. A dark fog blocks the way. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I love this overworld. Yeah, it's fucking cool. Very Star Tropics. I have never played that. Look, over there. That has to be Douglas Village. Soon we'll be in Gundan. Can uh, we can get help to deal with that thing? I'm and I'm sure someone will be able to heal Conrad. Come on, Chris. Imagine the tropics. Oh, and stuff involving stars. Get to know. Oh 
shit. Halt. Stay where you are. It's another Solarin. I really hope they don't ask for my Gundan ID. Show me your Gundan ID. God damn it. You people up with the yo-yo? What is this, fucking Earthbound? Oh, uh, I'm trying to get to Gundan to deliver a message. I don't really have a Gundan ID. D don't come any closer. I, I can't let you in without an ID. Show Eileen's letter. Listen, I'm from Betwixt. Here's... <clears throat> it's a town to the west of here. Just read this letter from the mayor and you'll understand. I've never heard of a town out there. Just bring me the letter. Hmm. That's, um... Listen up. Don't move. Uh, okay. Jeez. <laughs> Wait here. That's an order. I mean it. Nobody's moving, bitch. Where do you think she's going? You think she believed us? Man, we're so close. Guess we'll wait for her here. She's been taking a while. Oh, I was like, why don't we just fucking go in? Human, follow me. Mayor Herbert would like to speak to you. Oh, uh, a mayor? I guess we'll follow along then. Uh oh, wait. There is my Gundan ID. <laughs> Go on ahead, bug. Good luck with the mayor. I'll see you inside, man. Thanks a lot, fuckhead. Follow me, human. The mayor is waiting. No wandering off. <laughs> Herbert. Ah, yes. This must be him. Thank you, Jory. Step a bit closer, friend. This music definitely reminds me of Jimmy. Uh, hey, I'm Gus. Gus, a fine name. Now, what were you doing outside the town limits without an ID? Uh, well, I don't have an ID. I'm not from Gundan or here. I'm from Betwixt. Betwixt? I've never heard of it. Jory said you have a letter from the mayor. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, oh, quite the situation you found yourself in. If this letter is true, we must contact Gundan officials at once. Right, that's what I'm trying to do. I understand, but I'm having some troubles in the trust department. Oh, uh, showing up in the middle of the night with no ID, a strange Bebo, and smelling terrible? Wait, do I smell? Damn, that's fucking racist. I'm having trouble believing a letter from the mayor of a town that I have never heard of. Let me ask you a few questions. This thing in the letter, did you see it yourself? Yeah, it was like, uh, well, it's hard to explain. It was some kind of magic or curse. Standing near it distorted all my sense. I couldn't get a closer look at it, but it sort of warped everything around it. It attacked me and my friend. It took him. I'm searching for a way to get him back. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear about your missing friend. This betwixt, betwixt place, where is it? Just past the bridge to the west. I took the long way around the cove wood. Hmm. Let me have a moment to speak with my colleagues. Oh, uh, sure. Ho ho, my interns, quite the predicament we have on our hands. I would like to know how you would like to handle this. Karina, what are your thoughts? He seems pretty shaken up. We could try and see what he says about his town is true. Places like Cosmili Village stay off the grid, so it's not impossible his town is real. He doesn't seem like a danger to anyone. Charging them with some crime seems unnecessary. Alright, if his story is true and we ignore it, this may lead to an even bigger problem. Maria, what do you think? According to Gundan Territory Immigration Reform Act of 1009, unidentified or illegal persons are to be reported to the Gundan Immigration Police. Oh fuck, we're being reported to ICE? What the fuck? Oh hell no. Nah. I ain't playing this game no more. That would certainly apply here, but what do I always say about the law, Maria? The law is a set of guidelines. Each case calls for discretion based on context. This fucking bitch. Ah, oh, you two have learned so much. I cannot bear to see you go next week. I'm going to get in contact with the Asolan officials. They have an outpost across the bridge. They might be able to help us out here. I'll have to figure out what to do with Gus, though. Thank you both for your input. Jory! Yes. What is up with this carrot-looking bitch? Listen, I need you to... <gasps> oh, 
Oh shit, you. You're under arrest for illegal entry into Gundam territory. Lieutenant Frank, what is the meaning of this? This incident falls under Gundam jurisdiction, Mr. Mayor. Please stand back. You, you will be sent to Gundam for processing. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. That's an order. Well, I mean, we kind of need to go to Gundam anyway. What? I didn't do anything wrong. Get these things off of me. Get him, Bebo! Yeah, let's fucking go! It's a rabid, lethal force permitted. Fuck no! Don't touch fucking Bebo! Oh, fuck you all up. Let's go. Lethal force permitted. Oh, Redbow, sorry. He says Bebo. No! Redbow! <gasps> they fucking killed him! What the fuck? They just straight up murdered my fucking bird. Look, it's fucking bloodied what the fuck bebo no this what did you do they fucking murdered my fucking bebo i'm done with this game i do not want to touch this they fucking murdered bebo fuck this game <laughs> what the fuck uh chris on behalf of frog eve I apologize for the interruption. Luckily, I came bearing good news. Our hero assignment systems have come back online. I've gotten the green light to switch your hero to a more fitting character. Exciting, yes? They killed Bebo! Okay, danger around every corner. Sounds like an exciting game to play, yes? I can't tell you're eager to get back on track with the real hero, so I'll get out of your way. Oh, if you see any strange errors, you know, visual issues or distortions, that sort of thing, please just stay clear of them. We apologize for the inconvenience and are working hard to correct these errors. Give me back my Bebo, you fucks. Oh? You want to know what happened to Gus? Well, he's just an unimportant NPC. The hero assignment system working, there's no need to worry about that anymore. What? Fucking what? Marina? Oh, look at this fucking Dunkin' Donut motherfucker. I'm coming in! God, you can't just fucking bust in like that. What if I was jerking off or something? What do you want? It's like five in the morning, dude. My dad wants to see us. He went out to the graveyard, told me to be quiet. Quiet? You are banging on my door and screaming my name. Oh, whoops. We really gotta go see him, though. He seemed really weird. I've never seen my dad like that before. All right, all right. You said he was headed to the graveyard? Yeah, just outside of town. You should probably hurry. Please don't jerk off while streaming. <laughs> Okay, let's get going then. Duncan joined Karina's party. Okay. They killed my Bebo! God fucking damn it! <laughs> Dude, I'm so fucking pissed. Thank you for that sound alert. Uh, everyone, please do not announce to the server Fuck when the you police. are going to go Fuck masturbate. The this Fuck has been a reoccurring people. issue, and I'm not sure why some people have such underdeveloped social skills that they think a server full of mostly male strangers would need to know that. No one is going to be impressed and give you a high five. Especially considering where that head has Kill been. I don't serious. want I to want add to. this to the rules, since it would be embarrassing for new users to see that we have a problem with this, but it is going to be enforced as a rule from now on. If it occurs, you will be warned, and then additional occurrences will be dealt with at the discretion of mod staff. Thanks. Okay, alright. We're going to the fucking graveyard. 
I like the little bubble trees. They're cute. Oh, this sound alert reminds me. Kind of sad. My fucking Bebo. Check the graves. Oh shit. Okay. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Kami Geno. I am announcing my imminent masturbation. I am aware that the announcement of imminent masturbation has been a serious reoccurring issue lately. And I am here with my bottom level social skills to ensure that it will only worsen. I hope that this stream full of trans members will appreciate the fact that I will soon be coming. And offer me that coveted high five that I so surely deserve. Thank you. Chris, can I record this one too? Yeah, go for it. I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> that lad who showed up here three weeks ago with his Bebo, he spoke about some kind of threatening occurrence in his town. Chaotic magic, people getting attacked. When he told his story, I wasn't fully convinced. But a few days ago... I got a call from Mr. Millard, the mayor of Halcott. He told me about an incident involving some school children. His voice sounded so shaky. The kids had snuck out beyond the town walls, playing on the hills nearby. Thank you, Kami Geno. That was perfect. A police officer found them screaming for help at the town gate. The officer said the kids looked pale, sick. They saw something. They tried to describe what they saw, but they couldn't explain it clearly. They were dizzy. Whatever it was, it distorted things around them. Your explanation. It's just like what that guy told us he saw. Could they be... Dad. The mayor opened an investigation and reported it to Gundan, but almost immediately things were taken over by the Gundan Magic Containment Unit. They only show up for serious things, so it must be something important. Millard won't talk to me about it after that. The whole thing must have spooked him. Then just late last night, an internal code purple was issued by Gundan. Code purple? Unidentified and dangerous magic, something the government fears could cause panic. They didn't tell me when the Code Purple would go public, but I was told that the magic containment unit was already deploying in full force. Officers are being called from the reserves. Even other police units are being sent to help. Media has already started to raise questions on the new deployments. Travel restrictions, panic. It would only be a matter of time until all the news spreads. So... This thing the guy was talking about, it's real then? I don't know for sure, but it very well could be. But I think there's something we can do. That boy, Gus, he has important information, a story to tell. When that boy was sent off to Gundan, I had Greg change the police report to be a little less biased. You hired someone to tamper with police report? Shh. He just cleaned up a few details. Man, you're so cool, Dad. Yeah, you actually are. Stay focused. The judge called to talk to about the situation. The judge was going to offer release in exchange for his full cooperation, but Gus isn't a citizen, so the judge couldn't just give him a pass on the charge. Kill the gun in government. I agree. So, I helped him. You, you helped him? Uh, this judge, she owed me a favor from a while back. I told her that Gus was my nephew. I granted him Douglas citizenship. You did what? I did what I thought was right. He would have been thrown in cell 
for a long time. Your uncle Long John? You know he went off the grid and moved to Cozmilly Village. That was years ago. The chance he had a son that Gundan wouldn't know about? I got a call through to Gus. He took the deal and agreed to tell them everything. The government got all the information they needed from him. I told them to claim he's Gus Sugar's son, my strange nephew from Cozmilly Village. The judge called a few hours ago. Charges dropped. He's eligible for release. Duncan. Rena. I ask that you travel to Gundan and take Gus to the old wizard, Emil. Wait, Emil? Like my uncle Emil? Karina's like really pretty, I just realized that. I assume you can track down that wrinkly mage, yes? He was working for the city last time I checked. Security at the old water purification plant in Havenville, I think. Er, why do you want us to take Gus to Emil? Emil is a true sage. He knows all that one can know about magic and curses. Maybe the Gundam government finds a solution and this ends quickly. But I have a feeling that it is something that they can't control. Guess that that thing appeared to the west. The occurrences near Halcott is to the east. I won't sit idly while Eva stirs. I'm tasked to keeping Douglas safe from harm. When it comes to fighting dangerous magic, Emil is the one I want creating the plan. Bring that boy to Emil and let him explain the situation. If Emil thinks something needs to be done, I will give him whatever he needs. You'll need to pick Gus from the Gundam Police Department. A family member needs to pick him up. So, Duncan, you'll have to stick to the story. Yeah, I can do that. Cousin Gus, easy. Time to go to Gundam. You may have adventure in your blood, but you're still green. Just you wait. We're gonna cream this quest. Ah, he said cream. No problem. Love you, Dad. Oh, I love you too, son. And don't forget to call me and keep me updated. Oh, they hugged. Hug this fucking donut kid. Adventuring. Cream real. Cream real. Rena, for these past few months, you've been like a daughter to me. Douglas Village will always welcome you with open arms. Thanks for everything. Duncan is going to die. What the fuck, Kami Jenna? <laughs> Keep Duncan and Gus safe, yes? And when you see your uncle, tell him come out to the countryside. <laughs> well, he's fucking Duncan Donuts, so yeah, he's gonna get eaten. Fucking Bebo got fucking killed. God damn. I will never let that slide. I'm fucking pissed. Rip Bebo. Rip fucking Bebo. God fucking damn. Oh, if you get the chance to give my regards to your father, yes? Boar. Oh, no. Get your fetish shit out of this fucking chat. <laughs> How many times do I have to fucking say that shit? We made it. The monorail should be here any second. And just where do you think you're going? Ugh, Mom. Dad just sent me and Karina on a quest. It's not my fetish? That's what they all say. Of course he did. It's always something with him. My fetish is confusion and disgust. <laughs> Damn, my condolences. I was going to wait to give this to you, but I think you may need it on your journey. Duncan equips the Glistlewood Rod. Do you remember that big tree out back? The one you and your brother used to climb on when you were young? That storm took it down last year. You were upset, even if he didn't act like it. I made that staff out of the wood up from the tree. Mom! Alright, monorail time. Let's go. The monorail is here. Is here. Wow. Uh, whatever your father sent you to go do, it must be important. Go on now. That was cute. C come on! It's gonna leave without us. Like, from The Simpsons? <laughs> so we're bringing this guy to you see your uncle, right? That's the plan, just like your dad said. And your uncle is like a wizard or something? I guess so. When I was younger, he taught me all different kinds of magic. He used to be a part of the Gundam Sears when that was still a thing. He was like a captain, really high ranking. Wow, an actual...
actual wizard. This is really, this really is an adventure. Wait, if he's your dad's brother, how come I never heard about him? Oh, he's not really my uncle. He was my grandpa's best friend. Everybody just calls him Uncle Emil, just the way it was. Do you think he knows what's going on with this weird stuff? I don't know, but if anyone will know what Gus is talking about, it's my uncle. Oh, look, I can see Gandon Skyline. Aw, oh, shit. Ah, the big city. I haven't been here since Dad took us when I was just a kid. Oh, did you read the Fire Emblem real? Wow. Way to spoil. <laughs> I mean, you're only 18. Still just a kid. I'm an adult, legally. My dad said Gary was being held at the police department. I'm pretty sure his name is Gus. That's what I said. Gus. Right. The police department is just north of here. Come on, we should hurry. That's not a spoiler. <laughs> Twenty four seven pizza. Let's go. I want some twenty four seven pizza. Spoils. You spoiled everything. The guide bot is broken. Feel better suit, little guy. Oh, I like the cleaners. It's like Pikachu. How cute. God damn. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, Karina, Karina. Hey, Drake. Let me guess. You finally come around and are here to join my party? Not exactly. Besides, it looks like you're doing okay. Yeah, new member. That's Tellum. Oh, fuck. Look at him. The Fire Emblem is real? Yes. Oh, um, hi. And who's that? Starting a party of your own, huh? Hey, Roundy. What's up? Roundy? My name is Duncan. Hey, it was a compliment. You're cool, man. Oh, thanks. Me? Cool? <laughs> Anyways, you're back in the city. That's sweet. We just took another mission. Oh, oh, we're just a silver class party now. Rip the Bebo. Fire Emblem is real. <laughs> oh, congrats. You've been working hard. That's right. Nothing is going to stop us. Bebo. <laughs> Use the teleporter. We'll warp to the Alabaster Tower. Okay, where am I supposed to go? I said I was supposed to go north. Am I supposed to go uh, Hero Academy, Centro Mono? Can't even go this way. Okay. Bit left. Oh, okay. Oh, is it here? 
Oh, there it is. Wow. Okay. I can't believe I missed that. He's being held here. Mortal Kombat ass music. <laughs> He's being held here. Yep. This is the place. There is a jail inside. Just remember what your dad said. He's your cousin. Just play it cool. Don't try to overstate the facts or anything. Stick to the story. Right. Play it cool. I can do that. I'm a cool guy. Yeah, just getting my cousin out of jail. It's all cool. <laughs> the cops mortal combated Reboo. Red Bow. <laughs> no, Bebo. Bebo. Whatever the fuck her name was. Next up, to the counter. That's you. Go on. R right. Okay. <laughs> Hello there, pal. I'm here to pick up my cousin, Gus Sugarson. Sign here, there, and once more at the bottom. Right. As the cousin of Gus Sugarson, who I most definitely am, I will sign this document. That is what a good cousin would do. A good cousin such as myself. Just sign the paperwork, please. Yes, sir. Take a seat. We'll call you when it's time. As the cousin of Gus Sugarson, I offer you my deepest gratitude. <laughs> how to go. Completely natural. I always knew I had the potential to be an actor. Man, it's so quiet in here. What did they say about Gus? Oh, right. We just gotta wait here now. Oh, fuck. He's done some hard time. What a guy. He's the cousin of Gus Sugarson. What a guy. Poor Gus. Dude went through like the fucking shitter. Chris? No, I must be imagining things. Wait, Chris, it's actually you. Man, it's been so long. I I I'm happy to see you and all. I've been locked up in a cell for like a month. They've been waking me up in the middle of the night and forcing me to answer questions for a while there. I'm when I name my kid Gus Salter's son. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I really felt like I was losing it. Those police guys. They killed Bebo. I kept thinking about what I would have done. Or what I could have done. They've been asking me about what I know. Whatever happened. They seem to know about it. That, that thing. It's happening everywhere. That's what they told me. I don't think they believe me about the Twix. All this time, I've been stuck here. I haven't done anything. Jin, Lenny, Eileen, everyone back home. Kid named Sug. Conrad. He was counting on me to help him. They were all counting on me. Didn't get them to help. That thing could have swallowed them all up by now. Clank. What am I supposed to do? It could already be too late. We are taking you to see a wizard. Who, who are you? Maybe we should start with an introduction. Hey, Gus, right? Yeah, that's me. I'm Karina. This is my friend, Duncan. Hey, bud. Look, we're here to help. Hey, you were there that night. That They killed my Bebo. You and all the others, you just stood by and watched. Oh, he angry. He angry. Well... I really couldn't. They locked me up and threw me in a cell. I didn't even do anything. Hey, listen. There were Gundam officers that did that. Even if Karina or anyone else wanted to help, there's nothing they could have done. You know it wasn't fair. And your Bebo, I'm really sorry. I just... The story you told us about your hometown? Uh, the Twix? Yeah, they've been sent by Mayor Herbert. He's the one who helped you on the phone. All of us. We believe your story. We want to help you. You, you do? Yeah, my dad figured out the thing you were telling him about might be real. He knew he had to get you out of jail. That's, uh... There's someone who we think you should talk to. I know these guards and the people here probably haven't been very helpful. But my uncle... He's a wizard. He knows all about magic and stuff. That's why you gotta come with us. Right. I know you're worried about the Twix. We think my uncle can help you. Cheers. 
I brought Eileen's letter all the way here and nobody even believed it. These two do believe me, and they want to help. I wanted to tell you something. I've had some time to think in here about everything. I, I want to trust you. I feel like we're friends. But why are you following me, trying to help me? I mean, I'm grateful for what you've done, but why do it? That thing mixed, messed everything up. Nobody can remember Conrad besides you and me. Why is that? Why is it? Something hurts? Or dark magic? But then how come nobody except... Nobody seems to acknowledge you except me and that frog. Remember? Back in Betwixt? He gave me those new skills. You and him had a whole conversation. You don't talk to anyone else? I feel like nobody else even sees you. Right? You don't always like to respond. That's fine. Look... If you want to keep helping me, that'd be cool. But at some point, I'm going to need answers. Anyways, let's just go for now. These two think about this wizard guy. Uh, these two think that this wizard guy can help me. It's worth a shot, right? Alright, I'll come with. I, uh, thanks for the help. Here, the cops told us to give you this. Brina hands Gus a Gundan ID. The goodie was added to the keepsake tab of your mud. About fucking time, goddamn. Oh, sugar son. My dad really stuck his neck out for you. You're lucky he managed to pull off that stunt, pretending you're my cousin and all. Hey, try and keep it down. Oh, right. Forgot we were where we were for a second. Here, they also gave us your things. There's some equipment and stuff there. This isn't all my stuff. It's just my clothes and a few items. Where's the rest of it? The cards, you know. They probably just snatched that spilled up, or that splits for themselves. Great. Oh, he's angry. Let's just go see my uncle, all right? We'll figure out everything after. Yeah, all right. We have to take the monorail to Havenville. You should change and catch your breath a bit. I'll meet outside. Fuck the police. A cab. Absolutely. Fuck the police. Gus joins Karina's party. Ah! Split. I'm getting all wet. We'll level and kill them. Absolutely. This is why I fucking went all hardcore wanting to kill shit. Because I want to kill those fucking police officers in fucking Gundan. Goddamn fucking killed my Bebo. They fucking killed my Bebo. I still can't get over that. Fucking hell. Come on. We gotta get to the monorail. Oh, shit. Arr. Hey, come on. Let me help you up. You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Listen, Gus, I, I should have tried to stop them. It wasn't right what they did to you. Your Bebo. The mayor buried it. He was waiting for you, but... Here, I held onto this for a while. Oh, the feather. No, it's not enough. Come on, let's get out of the rain. Oh, good night, Cabby Geno. Have a good rest. Thanks for stopping in, and thanks once again for the raid. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful night. Ah, let me help you up. Your friends ran ahead. Thanks. Chris, I'm here on behalf of all of us at Froggy. Our systems. There has been a breach. We are unable to access any of our tools. Our hero assignment systems. Our monitoring and editing programs. Almost everything has been corrupted. I take full responsibility. I am the manager of the Soren branch. Other frogs? They keep their game worlds running smoothly. All I wanted was to turn this world into the best gaming experience. I'm going to work my hardest to get to the bottom of what's going on. There is something happening to this world. I've contacted my boss. Soon enough, I'll have things figured out. This is my world. I found it. I won't give it up so easily. Ooh, dun dun dun. Fucking lore. We got some lore here. Eat up, bitches. Your ad here. 
I love taking the monorail. It's so much fun. This is Havenville. Havenville. Man, it stinks like wet trash. <laughs> My uncle works at the old water purification plant just north of here. Let's hurry. My shoes are soaked. I love this fucking donut just telling me what to do. Ooh, pizza. Oh, whoops. It's a pile of split. What does he do? Watch the trash rot? It's like building security or something. And the guy in here? He's gonna help me? Look, he's a bit of, re of a recluse. Not really the sociable type. But if you're looking for someone who knows about strange magic, then you should at least go in and meet him. All right, I guess at this point it can't hurt. It's been a while since I've seen him, but I'm sure he's still around somewhere. You can get inside over there through the bars. Come on. That's nice. Oh, trash. There is some trash next to the trash. Lots of trash. Here, call the cops. Th that's the thing. That's what attacked me and my friend, Marina. Uncle Emil, come here. Follow me this way. for some time that there was something talking to me and just a few days ago it turned me on I didn't think it would be you I didn't think it would I didn't think it would be you that brought them to me I just didn't feel them with you Uncle, this is Gus he was attacked by that thing a few weeks ago I'm uh my name is Gus listen to that thing over there Gus Oh, there you are. What are you talking about? Listen, that thing over there, is, it attacked my town. It hurt my friend. It... Tell me, Gus, what is their name? What? What are you saying? Someone must be talking to me. Someone the others can't visualize. It's easy to me, but I can feel their presence. Uncle, are you okay? I'm fine, Mom. You're talking about Chris? Ah. Meal. I cannot make sense of you as well as Gus can, but I know you're here. Gus, I think this guy's talking about you. You're uh, still here, right? Still here? You don't know this guy, or do you? Perhaps he's making you jealous. No offense, but I think your uncle is kind of weird. I really don't feel like going back over there by that thing. 
I don't know what's going on. Yes. You know what my uncle was talking about, right? There's been strange stuff happening ever since that thing appeared in your town. What your uncle said? I think he may know something. I don't know. Well, let's follow him then. I trust him. You should too. Okay. I'll follow you guys. But if that thing explodes or something, I'm running. Shit, I can stop it. Who is this Chris person? Chris, they can really stop this? What are you guys talking about? Chris, Gus, follow me. Beyond these doors, there is a tunnel that leads communities. Gus, Chris has been wandering here. Can use this tool to restore order to the village. This isn't making any sense to me. Who is Chris? Uh, I think. Yeah, I don't see anyone around here. Chris exists outside the planes of our existence. Say what? All of this sounds weird. Chris is not a conceivable. Is not conceivable. There are those who walk among us who may be torn on reality's curtain. Seemingly, and even rare, there are those like Gus. Those who can perceive things clearly. I still don't get it. Is this Chris person like a person? Are they here to help? In a way, they are a lot like you and me. At the same time, entirely different. We are here to guide Gus for some greater purpose. So like a guardian angel? Well, in a way. Guarding, a guiding force. Why didn't you just say so? You got a guardian angel, Gus. That's some cool split. You're going to take care of this stuff. I, I wouldn't even know how to fucking say that. Hey, Chris, are you out there? You got any friends? I could use a guardian angel, too. Just tell them that Duncan is looking for some good luck. I don't think that's how this works. <laughs> Gus, are you getting all this? That makes sense, I guess. Chris. I'm like a guardian angel. That makes me feel good. <laughs> there will be more time to discuss. Yes, let Chris guide you forward. Inside, a great power awaits. Chris, we should go in there, right? If everything this Emil guy says is true, we have to go get you whatever it is in there for Betwixt and for everyone. Poor Conrad. All right, I guess we're going inside. Just join your party. The game is saved. Hey, Chris. Listen, I know I've been kind of suspicious of you. We're friends, and I should have trusted you. To be honest, I think I'm still kind of messed up over Conrad. He was my best friend. Maybe all this was weighing on you. So, I'm sorry. We're friends. We should be able to trust each other. I hope he's okay. I understand. I need a enigmatic soul. Looming. So what Emil said about me, he came here to help me, right? Like a guardian angel or something? Oh, that's why the others can't see you. Emil could kind of sense you. 
that frog? He must have had the same kind of powers. I guess I get it now. I mean, I'm not really sure where you're from. Emil said that you, you're on a different level of existence. It, it doesn't exactly make sense to me, but for now, maybe it doesn't need to. Most people can't see you. There are some who can kind of sense you. And then there's me, who I guess got lucky. Is he such a sweetheart? Uh, what's going on? Uh, okay. Am I moving? Well, oh, here we go. What? what? So are you here to help me? You've done this before. Shut up in a different world to help someone there? First time, actually. Well, I guess this is a first for everything. This tool Emil talked about. You don't know about it, do you? It's like you have some special powers and are like a ghost here or whatever. Can you, you know, see the future? Oh, you can't. I mean, that's cool. That's fine. I'm just trying to figure out how this whole guiding force thing works. You're still like a, a person, right? Right. Cool. I guess your real powers are that you're knowledgeable and stuff. Hopewood is known for being this dark and scary forest maze. Everyone back home always goes on about how people get lost in there. Super dangerous or whatever. But I followed you through. I trusted you and we made it here. So like Emil said, you're my guide. And if you think that this thing, tool, whatever it is, if you think it is the key to helping fix everything, then let's stop wasting our time. Everyone in Bitwix is still counting on us. Conrad is still counting on us. Come on, Chris. Let's go. Oh, that's like the first time my name didn't show up orange. Sorian and otherworldly interloper, vessel and controller, Gus and Chris. I am the Patrick. The world of Sorin has become glitched, as it has happened before in many worlds. When darkness emerges, two forces rise to meet it: a vessel and the one who guides it. The power of patching is now yours. With this power, you can patch that threaten to consume this land. In order to use the power of patching, you must gain experience. Experience isn't the foundation of this world. It is what defines who we are, our essence. You can gain experience from joining in all that Soren has to offer. Meeting new people, discovering new places, and embarking on quests. Experience can be gained from almost everything you do. You must journey across Soren and experience this world for yourself. With enough experience, you can patch the glitches and restore this world. Together. Hey, you've been in there for like three hours. It's almost morning. I'm falling asleep here. What do you mean? It's only been... Uh, uh, the power of the patcher is now yours. I can sense it on you. Power to reverse the damage the glitches have caused. Wow, wow. Saw your roll there, Gramps. He doesn't look any more powerful. Gus suddenly has the power to fix this split. That's all he had to do? Chill out in some room for three hours? I don't know why, that just made me really fucking laugh. <laughs> I fucking love Duncan now. <laughs> He's fucking great. All he had to do was just fucking wait in there for three hours. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was the easy part. In order to use their new power, Gus and Chris must gain experience. That is going to be hard. That's going to be the hard part. What do you mean, experience? The duo can gain experience in many different ways. Think of experience as fuel for their patching powers. Luckily, experience is everywhere you go, and everything you do, and everyone you meet. Wow, so Gus and Chris just gotta go do a bunch of stuff? <laughs> oh yes, in so many words. In truth, becoming an adventurer is the best way to get experience. Karina and Duncan, you will follow Gus and Chris. You will help them to gain experience by becoming adventurers, yes? They must experience all that they can. For every moment that passes, a new glitch may materialize. His coming hardships would be eased with a strong party behind him. And what if we don't want to go with him? Are you serious, Duncan? 
Hey, I'm just weighing my options here. <laughs> I love this. If Gus should fall, or if Gus should fail, well, the glitches will spread if left to its own devices. The effects on the world, chaos, corruption, catastrophic. Or catastrophic. All right, then. Yeah, that stuff sounds bad. If I don't want that to happen, then the cool thing to do would be to help them. Gus, Chris, I'm here to help. Let's go adventuring. Uncle, it, it's going to get worse, right? Are we going to be fast enough? Rina, I will be honest. The glitches? It is a chaotic force. I do not know what will happen, but the threat is real. You really think I could help? I do. I want you to go with Gus. I'm old, and my joints can no longer carry me to the places I traveled in my youth. But you? Your story is still being told. I'll go with Gus. I'll make sure he can stop this thing. I'm here to help, Gus. Me too! I, uh, I uh, thanks, really. Wank yeah, we're a party! You have two allies that will help you see this through. Now, it is time you gain experience and use the patcher. That glitch in the other room? It is a meager little thing. You should be able to gather enough experience in this old building to patch it. Can't we go some- Can we get some sleep first? I'm dozing off over here. It won't take Gus and Chris long. Besides, you are about to embark on an adventure. Take it from me, there are harder difficulties than fighting off sleep ahead. Yeah, Duncan. You were all excited just a second ago. Okay, okay. I'll stay up. Jeez. This will be your first test. Work together with Chris. If you need specific instructions, feel free to ask me anything that comes to mind. Rena and Duncan, join your party. Alright, let's patch this bitch up. Alright, Chris, we just need to gain some experience so we can get rid of this fucker. If we can get rid of this one here, then we can go do it in Betwixt, too. You're the guide, so show me the way. Emil said that we should talk to him if we need help. Let's, uh, do this, I guess. Okay, so... What the fuck do I do? Let's gain this fucking experience. Oh, shit. Where's Duncan? Oh, we found a charm. Nice. All right. Uh, I wonder if we have enough. Let's go talk to him first here. He not afraid. <laughs> oh fuck. Ice. Biblically accurate miss missing no. <laughs> I love that. I fucking love the little donut guy.
He was like really annoying at first, but I'm just like, he's like really grown on me. <laughs> I love that he's saying quank now. Quank yeah now. I thought that said Skyrim. I was like, what the fuck? Shit. I'll find some more experience. Maybe we have enough already. Let's check that out. Oh, yes. Hold space. We teleport to now. Oh fuck, he's got the power. He's in control now. If we can do this, we can save the Twix and save Conrad. Use the patcher. Do whatever you gotta do. I'm ready. I trust you, Chris. Yeah, let's do this, Gus. Oh, fuck yeah, look at him go. He looks so badass. Oh man, you made it to the end of the demo. What? Things were just getting good? You have a lot of questions? Well, sorry. Don't worry, you'll be able to keep playing once Glitch releases in full. When is that happening? Uh, soon. Yeah. Anyways, the only reason I'm here is to promote social media engagement. Here you go. All right, everybody. This is the end of the demo Glitch. If you like what you saw, um, wishlisted on Steam, Join their ditch, uh, Discord, go on itch.io, damn no demo. They're, they have a Twitter and everything. Uh, yeah, this is pretty fucking cool. I'm like really excited and I am really stoked to play more of this game. I cannot wait for it to come out. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and end stream here cause it's already like, you know, very close to uh, me having to go anyway, so. A little bit shorter stream, but we had tons of fun regardless. I, oh fuck, I didn't mean to click that. Whoops. Um. I had lots of fun. It was fucking cool. Uh, let me just drop the freaking link in chat. So if you all are interested, you can go check it out for yourselves. I am super looking forward to it. Where are we raiding, boss? Support it. Buy it, download it, check it out for yourselves, make your own choices. It has so many different choices. You can do whatever you'd like. Um, let us take a look to see who we can rate tonight. Fuck yeah. Thank you all for spending time with me and hanging out. It was great. It was tons of fun. It's nice to be back. It's nice to stream. Um, next stream, we are going to... KYS, Jesus. Uh, next stream, we're going to be doing uh, Sound the Universe or something like Radio the Universe, something like that. Um, all right, let's see who's up and going. Oh, let's go ahead and raid Lemon. They are playing Sims 4. Let's do this. 
<laughs> all right see y'all at lemon stream have a good night y'all take care and once again thanks for the raids and thanks for hanging out with me it was tons of fun i'll catch y'all again thursday oh this music is so good though lemon <laughs> Lemon rate, lemon rate. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Let's go raid lemon. Yeah. <laughs> Be not a 